Um, so my name is Anne McMahon. I am a high school counselor at Las Plumas High School. I, um, my family grew up in paradise, um, and I'm lucky in the sense that my childhood home, it did, it did burn, but my parents moved out four months ago, but their street is gone. Um, my aunt is a special ed teacher up at Paradise High School named Marion Craig, and she, was, she called me at probably 9.30 at Las Plumas High School that morning to let me know that she had flames around her car and she was getting kids out of Paradise High School. Um, she probably had three or four girls in her car. Um, she wanted me to keep her calm um, and the girls calm because they weren't thinking they were going to make it through. So that was a pretty intense phone call um, that I received. Um, and then after that my husband, who also grew up in Paradise, um, his parents, their house burnt down um, and my father-in-law got stuck in traffic with flames around his car and had to go to um, Billy Park um, because there were flames all around his car and that was the only safe place um, and he called to say goodbye as well to my husband. Um, but he was able to get out and that uh, we were really thankful for that. Um, the whole group of Billy, of kids at kids, people at Billy Park were able to get out. Um, my brother and sister-in-law lost their house up there and my, um, and, uh, their jobs as well because um, they work at Feather River and my brother-in-law has an amazing story that's gone around with the white truck um, that was burnt. He's an ICU nurse up there and he stayed until I believe 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon up there res rushing patients in and out, saving people. He almost died as well and made a phone call to my um, sister-in-law to say goodbye. Um, his car is completely destroyed from the fire because of being in the middle of it. Um, but he was able to get out um, and he survived and he helped people to the last minute at the hospital. So. Um, my hometown is gone. My best friends have lost their homes um, and their parents have lost their homes and it is a weird spot to be in to be so thankful that my parents made the move four months ago but that I will never see my hometown or the houses that I grew up in um, again. So that's it.